this, this that you're looking at is the bottom end, the, the power bay in fact, of a black, <coughs> a black arrow rocket. The vehicle itself would have been bolted on at that flange there and that's the tanks and the upper stages and all that sort of thing. But the, the real grunt, if you like, in the thing has to come from the bottom stage, which here we've got eight thrust chambers, 6,000 pounds each chamber, so it's nearly 50,000 pounds thrust. It was called the Black Arrow Satellite Launcher, and it took payloads of about 120 pounds, 150 pounds, something quite small. When you see all this other machinery, and you think all it does is, is launch a thing called Prospero, which was like a a smart radio set because it, it literally wasn't very big and that is what Black Arrow was called out, called upon to do and in fact it, it did it. Two of them hit trouble, the third one which had little modifications in it um, put the thing straight into orbit and it is there to this day and only last week I said to somebody well all right fine but how long is it going to stay there and they said another hundred years. So I think we did the job reasonably well. Unfortunately, the ministry man eventually came round to see us. And this, this thing was in its orbit by then, everybody happy. Ministry man comes in grinning, because they always did. Uh, and everybody thought he'd come to say, well done lads, now's the time to start making them all like that and we'll have half a dozen or something. Because apparently, I, I don't know the figures, but Black Arrow was one of the cheapest satellite launchers that there's ever been. And the thing to do was to make lots of them because the electronics are coming down in size and it, it would have gained a little bit in performance too. You know, with some or other we'd have done something. Um, the second stage instead has extension nozzles on, for instance, and maybe we could get more out of that, I don't know. Uh, but when he came to see us, he, he got up on the platform in, in the drawing office and said, I've uh, sort of come to see you today, lads, you know, it's all good stuff this is. Well done for that. And they were all sort of standing there saying, yeah, now he's going to announce work on a Mark II version. He says, so I thought I'd come and tell you, um, we can't afford any more, so we, we'll just have to sort of scrap all the stuff you've got, write up your reports and forget about it. And he was seen to exit from the drawing office about this far off his trousers and things because everybody was going to, going to give him a real sort of scragging. And he, he just rushed out from the building altogether and jumped in his car. We haven't seen him since. But that was the sort of welcome we got for, for making this thing work.